let's just get the big elephant out of the room. This banner looks horrid, in my personal opinion. Um, and I think a lot of people also agree with me on this banner being as horrid as it is. Um, and I think it really stems literally just from the four stars. We talk about this all the time. We talk about, is the banner worth it? Not just from a five-star perspective, from a four-star perspective, especially as casual players, you want to make sure that you have the best bang for your buck. And today we're going to be talking about that. So before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to check out Gamer Subs right over there. I was pointing over there, but it's actually over here. Gamer Subs right there. Use code Tystrom for 10% off. Y'all, we got some awesome stuff coming. A lot of really, really great flavors. And I always spread the gospel of how good Gamer Subs is. Use code Tyson for 10% off for that gluten-free, keto-friendly energy. But today, let's go ahead and dive into the actual banners details for this, starting off with the four stars. Let's talk about Kale. Now, don't get me wrong. Kale, in my opinion, does have decent dendro application, especially when it comes to her burst, right? However, Kale is a technically a free-to-play unit you get Kale from the start of you know Sumeru so there's really no point in like going all out and like summoning on a banner and being like oh there's Kale I gotta get her now of course she is better at her c6 I think it's her c6 and her c2 are her two best um but like it's Kale and I when you think of Dendro characters now, now that we got Emily and Emily, yes, it's a five star and not a lot of people did some for Emily. I get that. However, there are plenty of units in the Dendro element that are far better suited as a Dendro applicator. And I think that she's still really, really good, but not the top tier unit that I was expecting to see alongside Jalonen, right? By the way, we're not just talking about Jalona, and we are talking about Chiori as well, and we'll get to, we'll get to her. But many of the things I'm going to be talking about here can really be applicated with Chiori as well, for the most part. Now, before anybody gets on me and be like, "But they're different units," I get that. But at the same time, like, you're not going to be using Chiori in a multi-team. You are going to be using Jalona, and if I'm saying that it's bad for Jalona in the sense of like not being the best utilized four-star. There's other characters that could benefit Chiori better, right? And sorry, I'm also dealing with a little bit of a throat issue. I'm trying to make sure that, you know, I'm not going crazy. Let's go ahead and dive into Candace. Now, I feel like Candace has had a little bit of a resurgence recently. Um, I've seen her used more in teams as of late. So to me, I don't think she's that bad. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah. But I do think that she's not great. <laughs> like, that's the best way to put it. Like, I think that it was a terrible call to put Candace on this banner. I think that they could have went with a different... Hell, they could have even done Zing Show to put on this banner. And I would have been like, that's a much better pick. I have him C6 already, so it doesn't do anything for me. But banger for your buck if you don't have Zing Show at C6. If you, if you go for Candace and you're trying to get her C6, why? I don't think she's going to be that versatile for teams. I may have seen her in teams recently that work out really, really well, but that doesn't mean that she's that amazing. So to me, it's a thumbs down for getting Candace. I think Candace, in a sense, too, you, there, there are times you've been able to get her for free. So I think it's a nothing burger. Again, Dory... You know, I used to speak wonders about Dory. I thought Dory's electro application was really, really good, which I still think it it's decent. It's the same perspective as Kale, but when you pair Dory up against units like, you know, Fischl and Beto, it's just not, not the same. So I'm not gonna speak too much on Dory, except for I think that her healing can be really, really good if you capitalize on the healing but outside of that, when it comes to Electro application, she gets outpaced by Fischl, and Fischl's just so good, still, to this day. I think four-star units back in the day were just built different. It's just how it is. You know what, call me call me Gen 1 Pokemon guy. I think the originals were the best. <laughs> so dumb. 
but there are there are good units in general that are good four stars that are of electro and i do think dory is decent but again when you pair her up with all these other four stars and yeah she could be good for jalonin's team but i don't think she's that much better i think there's better team comps for jalonin i that don't involve dory right so dory is a big old nothing burger all three of these four stars are nothing burgers but what about the five stars so let's talk about shiori first right shiori is good i think that shiori is good but the problem with her is that she's solely focused on one type of team and that's geo teams right and that's what sucks with her she's a good pairing for jalonin which we'll talk about here in a minute but i feel as though shiori is just stuck on a geo team and as much as i love teams that are focused on certain builds right like i love chevrous because she's focused on the overload team i love teams that are based on like certain team comps and stuff like that but without jalonin chiori is good for one team right and even like even with jalonin like what am i saying here chiori is just a geo team character let's just be real it's 100 percent. that's all she is and with jalonin she gets better but in the geo team comp she was already doing really really good for what geo team was with jalonin she's going to be that much crazier for a geo team right so to me chiori is kind of a skip because what you're going to be summoning for is for jalonin she's fantastic she everybody's already said it before she is the geo version of kazua she's good in her a team just of geo and it becomes that kind of like that DPS. But in a team that's versatile with Geo and I think it's, you know, Hydro, Pyro, Electro, and I think it's Dendro. Like, let me let me pull that up really quick. Hold on. Jalonin, Honey Hunter. Let me pull up Jalonin really quick. I'm pretty sure it's Dendro as the fourth one. But somebody questioned me on it. I want to double check this on her thing. Uh... It was on her bird or no it's on her skill or was it path three samplers to generate oh it's cryo i am dumb don't mind me a cryo so really kali has nothing to do on this banner but pyro cryo hydro and electro benefit from jalonin as well which is fantastic so jalonin by herself if this was a banner of just jalonin and they gave like discounts i'd say yeah go for jalonin but when it comes to the banner four stars if you are looking for the best bang for your buck, it's really tough. I think <sighs> Jalona's just that good. Jalona just, it's a struggle. It's a struggle because they knew what they were doing. They knew they could pair a very top tier unit in Jalona and give it the crappiest four stars that they could outside of Zinnia. I want to say don't summon. But I also don't want to cheap somebody out of a good five-star unit that could be a benefit to your team. If you're a brand new user, brand, brand new, like day one today. I'd say don't summon on this banner. Brand spake a new user. If you've been summoning for Jalonin, don't let the four stars deter you. Summon for Jalonin. But if you are on the cusp of like, uh, I got Kazuo, I don't, I don't know if I truly need Jalonin, or you're brand brand new to the game, save your summons, because I think that Chaska and Auroron are gonna be good units with good four stars. Jalonin's just like top S tier type of unit, but the four stars are just garbage. So it's tough, man. It's tough to say skip. It's tough because I'm not skipping. I, I want her. I want her. And she's so god damn hot. But when I look at this banner and I look at Chiori as well, I don't think it's worth your summons if you're on the fence as it is. Now, if you're not summoned for her, she's going to be the Geo equivalent to Kazuha. So, anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're summoning for Jalonin just like I am. And tell me if you've ordered some G-stuffs lately. Get that stuff. I'm telling you, it'll change your life. Get off of them sodas, you know, and it'll help. 
It's helped me lose a little bit of weight because I'm not drinking as much soda anymore, baby. I don't need to because gamer subs, top tier. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.